What's going on, boys? This is Super Mike. I want to give my reaction to um, the young king who was murdered down there in Louisiana, very likely by some uh, white supremacist animals. And uh, the culture down there in Louisiana. This is for Quan Charles. Quan Charles. Um, you know, the thing is, I want to really talk a second about our reaction and the lessons that we refuse to learn as a community. We are organized, we have a culture which is not protective of the values of black America. The true values of black America, you can't tell by the uh, the music that we listen to currently because we do not cont control our music and our cultural arts uh, broadcasting, you know, institutions. Uh, you really can't hardly tell our culture by what you see around the black churches, hardly because our churches are heavily influenced by uh, government money, United States government money, and the type of people that, in, you know, that's being put in those spots there. So the thing is, you know, our true culture is something that is there without, is, 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 is determined by our own interactions, free of outsiders, uh, manipulation directly now they're going to have influence on you because what's going on they're going to put pressure on you but the point is you have to retain all your institutional controls to be to be able to say that this is our culture expression now Quan mcdonald you know black folks get murdered all the time you know people black people when you, you present to them facts they want to deflect they say well black people murder black people that is a deflection. If you're doing that, what you're doing is you're the problem. When you see a danger, you have to try to adjust, push yourself to adjust your behavior. And it's your job. Meaning, if you see this and you see this as bad, it is your job to do something to adjust your decision making so that at least you can become protective around your circles. So, Quan Charles, he had, I'm just gonna state, according to what I've seen by now, this is a person who loved everyone. He, he, they, there's a family that uh, made black friends, I mean, they made white friends. He mostly had white friends. So this is telling me that maybe that the parents didn't teach them, because you're down there in the, deep south of Louisiana and we know that white people teach their children about the past and history but black folks we have this tendency to try to think that if we don't teach our children the history then somehow that just goes away racism goes away this is the dumbest thing that we could be doing this is for these black folks it's a lot of black people out here and the reason why my message is to black people is because it is our job to change. When we change, the enemy change. And who is the enemy? Those who choose to kill you, such as they killed Quan Charles and the police departments. Them protecting or them not giving the family information that they need to find the culprits. It's the same thing we've seen in Kendrick Johnson, the same thing we've seen in Sandra Bland, the same mentality in these police departments which really makes it worse because the police department job is to find justice so it leaves it on us to find justice ourselves and when we don't find justice ourselves we blame ourselves and then everyone else blames us so what loyalty do we have to try to why do we have this loyalty towards these systems of government uh, when these things are anti-black, we need to start to fund our institutions, you know, develop ourselves, develop our institutions so that we can have power to protect ourselves. 
That's what you got to do. Meaning you got to start looking at black people and black institutions as family. You have to be slow to anger at your own and more inclined to repair your own people instead of, you know, destroying and, and, and bad mouthing and trying to integrate all this integration, letting your kids hang around all these white folks. Not during this time. You're just pretending like nothing's going on. And these are the people that's in most danger. And it's very sad. It's very sad. Quan Charles, his face was destroyed, beaten to a pulp. And then the police talking about that he just drowned. And that's all they want to say. He drowned. You know, this this reminds me of stuff that we hear, the stories that we used to hear, to hear of our elders who uh, were beaten. And some of them survived. And, you know, white folks would beat them, have fun beating them in a group, beating the hell out of them. And there was when they were finished beating them and they were just ready to kill them, they was they would take them to a, a creek and they would just stand on them and just talk until they just died. They would beat the shit out of them. Like and if you look at Quan Charles face, he is beat to death. He was beaten to death. And his face, his this whole thing is gone. All that, gone. Lacerations, cuts, and knots on his head. Meaning he was beaten while he was alive. Torture. And then they found him face down in a, a sugar cane plantation. Down in Louisiana. And these are the type of things, see... You know, you can deflect on black on black crime. You can deflect, well, that's not all black, white people, well, black folks. The bottom line is you have to teach your children reality. Stop being stupid. Even if you have white friends that you care about, that you think is nice and you trust, you don't know who their friends are. And their friends are friends. You letting your kids go off with white people. I don't care if they're the most trustworthiest white person. You should never let your kid be in a situation or put yourself in a situation where you're dependent on the benevolence of a white person for your survival. So that's it. You know, let's fight. Let's go ahead and put the pressure on. Let's. But the most important thing is we got to organize our systems. We got to try to strengthen ourselves, strengthen our uh our churches, strengthen our mosques, strengthen anything that we control that we can use to protect ourselves because that's the only thing that we can depend on.